quickly and easily submit your 1099s through Rentec. My name is Jason and I'm from Nelco. Nelco and Rentec partner together to make it easier and faster to file your 1099s. You probably think about 1099 filing for a month or two out of the year. Here at Nelco, we think about 1099 filing for 12 months out of the year. We're constantly thinking about how to improve your process and your experience in filing your 1099s and stay in complete compliance with IRS regulations. So we're starting at the Rentec screen. And so you can go ahead and click Settings, and then click Utilities, and click 1099 e-file and print. It's going to launch the screen. It's going to look like this. This is a list of your vendors and owners that you need to file a 1099 for. For this case, we're just going to select Lisa Harding. You can select as many of these as you need to. Um, if you are missing information, Rentec very nicely calls out what information is missing and how you need to correct it. In this case, we're just going to select one owner. Like I said, you can select as many as you need. Click Continue to Next Step. Shows you which ones you've selected to move forward with. Again, Continue to Next Step. And Continue to Nelco to initiate e-file. It's going to launch a new browser window. From here, you can go ahead and click Create Account if you've never filed before. A lot of information here, like first name, last name, address, city, state, zip, phone number. Really simple information. Fill it out, and you should be good to go. I've already completed this, so I will go ahead and log in. And this is going to bring us to what's called the Forms in Progress screen. From here, you're going to be able to choose your services. Federal e-filing down here, well, we will submit it to the federal government. Recipient mail and online retrieval right here, we will go ahead and mail those out to your um, vendors or owners, those forms directly to them. Up here, you have a bundle, federal e-filing and recipient mail. That does everything. Easiest one to, to pick, saves you a few dollars if you go ahead and select that service. Go ahead and click Next. If you have an email address for this owner, you can go ahead and click this or put that in here and click next. If you don't have an email address, no big deal. If you do have an email address and you put it in there, that owner will receive a, an email prompting them to log into a secure site with the last four digits of their SSN or EIN. And that gives them access in addition to receiving the printed um, 1099 from Nelco, it will also give them access to access an online PDF. Go ahead and click Next. Brings you to this screen where you can review everything. If you want to click Preview Forms right here, you can go back and you can look at all the different forms that you want to go through. It'll pull up a PDF, and you can view exactly what that form is going to look like. One of the biggest um, things that people want to see and they want to feel it and they want to touch it, this gives you just a really quick and easy access to that PDF and what it's going to look like. Summary report is also going to pop up, um, kind of a summary of what that's going to look like. Um, as far as all the information that's being supported, um, submitted. So again, we can just click Open right here, and it will bring up a copy of the PDF that you're going to be filing. Simple enough. Go ahead and click Next. Here is where you want to put in your payment information. So just go ahead and put in your credit card. Next. From here, you can review everything. You want to go back here to edit cart. You can go to your license agreement, do all these things, click confirm and submit. Give just a second. And you're all done. So basically, what we've done here, you can see we have filed the payer copies, filed the recipient copies, and we'll electronically file the 1099 forms. If you want to print this page for your records, go ahead and click that button. If you want to print the forms, you can select which copies you want to print, or you can click, click Print Receipt. All these, all these options are available to you um, inside of the program here. 
If you ever wonder about the statuses, you should be receiving an email that just basically says we've received this and we're working on it. And as we proceed down that, um, towards filing us towards the IRS and printing and mailing it to your vendors, you'll be receiving emails from us updating you of the status. But if you're ever wondering about it, go ahead and click on Filing Home. And there is a spot from Rentec. Just go ahead and click, um, to click the dashboard. and It'll bring you to this page. Click Form Filing History. Click the little clock and it will tell you exactly what the status is of that batch. If you want to go back in and print forms out again, you can go ahead and click uh, the little printer icon. You can choose which forms to print. Last thing is if, if your vendor or your owner calls and says, hey, I lost my 1099 that you sent me or I never received it. Can you send it to me again? Rather than printing it and mailing it, click on that little envelope icon and go ahead and just find that vendor, put their email address in, and click send email. And we will go ahead and email Lisa a link again to her 1099 and she can retrieve it electronically. All set, all she has to do is put in the last four digits of her social security number or, ele or electronic filing EIN, employee identification number, and she can go ahead and retrieve that 1099 herself. That's about everything we have. It's a really fast and simple and easy process as you can see. If you have questions, um, feel free to give us a call at any moment and we will we would love to contact you and talk to you a little bit more about the filing process. Again, my name is Jason from Nelco and thank you very much for watching.